I wanted to share today out of Luke, um, Luke chapter 1 from verse 5 and it's, uh, yeah, verse 5. So it says, in the days of Herod the Great, king of Judah, there was a certain priest whose name was Zacharias of the division of Abijah. His wife was a descendant of Aaron, of Aaron, sorry, the first high priest of Israel. And her name was Elizabeth. They both were righteous, approved in the sight of God, walking blamelessly in all the commandments and requirements of the Lord. Hallelujah. Wow. But they were childless, because Elizabeth was barren, and they were both far advanced in years. Now it happened, while Zacharias was serving as priest before God, in the appointed order of his priestly division. As was the custom of the priesthood, he was chosen by lot to enter the sanctuary of the temple of the Lord and burn incense on the altar of incense. And all the congregation was praying outside in the court of the temple at the hour of the incense offering. And an angel of the Lord appeared to him standing on the right of the altar of the incense. When Zacharias saw the angel, he was troubled and overcome with fear. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zacharias, because your petition in, in prayer was heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear you, you a son, and you will name him John. You will have great joy and delight, and many will rejoice over his birth. For he will be great and distinguished in the sight of the Lord, and he will never drink wine or liquor, and he will be filled with the, and empowered. Sorry, and he will be filled, uh, and he will be filled with and empowered to act by the Holy Spirit while still in his mother's womb. He will turn many of the sons of Israel back from sin, to love and serve their Lord, their God. It is he who will go as a forerunner before him in the spirit and power of Elijah. Wow. Beautiful. God is awesome, isn't he? It is he who will go as a forerunner before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of their fathers back to the children and the disobedient um, and the disobedient to the attitude of the righteous which is to seek and submit to the will of God in order to make ready a people perfectly prepared spiritually and morally for the Lord glory to God thank you Lord praise you praise you we love you Lord and Zacharias said to the angel, How will I be certain of this? For I am an old man, and my wife is advanced in years. The angel replied and said to him, I am Gabriel. I stand a minister in the very presence of God. I have been sent by him to speak to you and bring you this good news. Listen carefully. You will be continually you will be continually silent and unable to speak until the day when these things take place, because you did not believe when I told you, but my words will be fulfilled at their proper time. But, but, but my words will be fulfilled at their proper time. The people outside in the court were waiting for Zacharias and were wondering about his long delay in the temple. But when he did not come out, he was unable. So, but when he did come out, he was unable to speak to them. They realized that he had seen a vision in the temple, and he kept making signs to them, and remained mute. Wow, he remained mute. My gosh, he was actually made unable to speak. As soon as the angel said, "But you won't be able to speak." Uh, because you didn't believe. So he was made mute. When this time of priestly service was finished, he returned to his home. Now after this, 
his wife Elizabeth became pregnant and, at, and for five months she secluded herself completely saying this is how the Lord has dealt with me in the days when I looked so when he looked with favour on me to take away my disgrace among men Amen Wow, how amazing What a story What a story I think that's amazing Amazing He was visited by the angel Gabriel Wow And blessed by God He was blessed from that visitation you know, the Lord has been putting this on my heart for a while, and um, like John, and uh, I, uh, I'm finally reading about it. But I um, really like. I just think it's amazing how he was visited by the angel. He his wife became pregnant. You know. He was made mute because of his unbelief. And, oh wow. Then he was released when it came to, to um, fruition, the word came to pass. And he was rejoicing and praising God. And it's just awesome how John, you know, um, his, how powerful he was, how God used him to go, as, like it said, as a forerunner for Jesus. You know, and he was like, he was just so blessed. He was blessed. His wife was blessed. You know, and but for unbelief, he was made mute. Let's pray that God will help us. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Lord, that you're faithful, Lord. I pray, Lord God, that you would make it be that uh, all those watching, Lord God, if they struggle with unbelief, Lord, I pray you would take it from them, burn it out of them, Lord, unbelief and doubt. We all have that sometimes so when the enemy tries to attack and doubt, put doubt in our hearts and, and to attack that way. But I pray, Lord, that um, you would help us all. Help us all, Lord. Help us all in the body of Christ, Lord, that we will have strong faith, that we won't doubt and believe, but that we'll believe and grow and increase in faith. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, I, just, let's just close and pray. But just be encouraged, you know, I mean, we all go through, you know, those times when we, when we go through doubt and belief. I know I have. Sometimes, you know, I've, we've all had that, you know. And, it's just, the Lord, as we seek him and read his word, he will get rid of that. He'll burn that out. He'll burn it out from us. And, you know, and they're spirits as well, you know, isn't it? They're spirits, aren't they? Like, it's, you know, it's a spiritual thing. So, you know, there's spirits of doubt and spirit of unbelief. It's, it's a spirit so we can, we can like, bind and cast those things out and, um, you know, pray for the increase of faith. And I'll be like the disciples, Lord, increase my faith. So let's pray for that. Let's pray. Lord, thank you. We pray, Lord, you will increase our faith. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Lord says, ask and you shall receive, you know, according to his will. And it's it's God's desire to lavish his love upon us. So, praise the Lord. What an amazing story. Wow. So just for, so it was Luke 1. I read from Luke 1. To verse from verse 5 to verse 25, just for in case you want to read in your own time. Well, praise the Lord. Let's let's pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you for your word. I pray, Lord God, that we will be a uh, uh, big have big faith. Help us to have big faith. Increase our faith, Lord. Help us, Lord, especially those, Lord God, including myself. We all have had you know those times where we unbelieve or we haven't, you know, we have doubt. We've all been there at some point, and I pray, Lord, you would help us to, to be uh, strong in faith, Lord, and grow big in faith. Lord, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As I pray for the sick, Lord God, all those who are sick, those who are not well, 
you're here for the love of God. Let us pray, Lord God. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you've done, what you've had to do. You've already done it. It's all already done. You just carry by faith. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us when we pray. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.